In this video, we'll use the Cornerstone Wall Designer software to get the calculations used to create our cross sections and profiles, get quantity takeoffs of the design retaining walls, and export profiles and cross sections into AutoCAD. Once our wall is designed, we can go to File, PDF Report, and we can choose either the stations or walls we'd like to get a report on. If we hit Select All, we'll get calculations for all the walls in the project. There are many options for what you'd like to include in the PDF report. The most common items to check are under Summary Reports. The project's material summary gets the quantities for all the blocks, geogrid, extenders, and backfill for the walls. The Section Analysis Summary includes the calculations made for each section of the wall. If we hit Preview Print, we get this table showing the number of standard units, corner units, top blocks, half-high top blocks, and base blocks. It also shows the number of short and long extenders per wall, the total wall area, the volume of backfill needed for the leveling pad, reinforced fill, drainage fill, and for the hollow cords of the blocks. It also includes the area of geogrid needed per wall. The section analysis summary includes calculations for every panel or cross section of each wall in the project. So we'll see the soil parameters, factors of safety, and results like bearing capacity, overturning, sliding, and connection strength. Going back, we have many other options for project information, project design inputs, section geometry, and analysis results. For section geometry, you might want to see the table of station information or a drawing of the wall shown on the stations tab. The analysis results contain key information like a cross-section drawing or detailed static or seismic calculations. This can all quickly be compiled together into a PDF. The detailed calculations will show the cross-section with all the equations used to design the wall here. This value was calculated based on this specific equation for the methodology used. So if we wanted to, we can go to the NCMA design manual, look up these equations, and see how these values were found. Once we get our takeoffs and analysis, we can get our profiles and sections and export them to either AutoCAD, G-Slope, or RESA. If we hit AutoCAD, we'll need to choose a wall. If we want just an elevation view, we can uncheck these and hit export. Here, we get a profile with a scale on both sides and chainage and bearing pressure along the bottom. Each panel is split up and we can see the top and bottom of the wall. The stations and our corner marker is shown, the geogrid information is given, and at the bottom there's a reinforcement legend with station information in table format. If we go back and create an elevation view for a gravity wall by choosing wall 2, we're shown a different colored hatch for each depth in the course. At the top, there's no hatch, so we have standard blocks and standard top blocks here. This first hatch has text with 0L-1S, meaning one short extender. The next has 1L-0S, meaning one long extender. The next has 1L-1S, meaning one of each extender, and so on. If we want to see the cross sections for any panels, we can go back, choose a wall, check section view, and select the panels to export. If we use shift to select all, we can get them all in one drawing. Here we can see a section view with noted geogrid strengths and lengths here. Now that we have our profile, analyses, and quantities, we're one step closer to construction. Here's a view of that same retaining wall from the plans we were working on earlier. That wraps up our tutorials for the Cornerstone Wall Designer software. If you have any questions, go to magnumstone.com, hit contact, contact us, and you can either give us a call, fill out the contact form, or even write a quick message on the chat option.